This is Module 5, Lesson 32. In this lesson, we'll be subtracting a fraction from a mixed number. Let's start with this number sentence, 3 and 4 fifths minus 3 fifths. So the whole number is 3. The whole number in the second number is 0. There's no whole number. So we can subtract that. So our second question would be, do we have enough fifths to subtract 3 fifths? And we do. We have 4 fifths, so we can subtract 3 fifths. So if we subtract the whole number part, we have 3. And if we have the fractional part, we have 1 fifth. 3 fifths minus 4 fifths minus 3 fifths would be 1 fifth. We can show that on a number line where we divide the whole number into fifths. And we start with 3 and 4 fifths. And we're going to go back 3 fifths. 1, 2, 3. 2, 3, and 1 fifth. Let's look at a different one. We have 4 and 1 fifth minus 3 fifths. So again, our whole number in the second number is, is 0, so we can do 4 take away 0. So then we look at the fifths and ask, can we do 1 fifth take away 3 fifths? No, we don't have enough fifths. We only have 1 to subtract 3. So one strategy is to decompose the subtrahend, which is the second fraction here, into two parts, one that we can subtract, so if we had one-fifth, we can subtract one-fifth, and we'd have two-fifths left. So we can do that. Let's show this in an um, arrow diagram. So we start with four and one-fifth, and then we're going to subtract one-fifth. So we're subtracting this part, which would give us four. And then we're going to subtract the second part, which is two-fifths, and that would give us three and three-fifths. We can show that on a number line also. We're starting at 4 and 1 fifth, and first we're subtracting 1 fifth, and then we're subtracting 1 2 fifths, and we end up here at 3 and 3 fifths. So one strategy, if we don't have enough in the fractional part to subtract initially, is to decompose into a fractional part that we can subtract and then do the second part so that we're breaking that second that subtrahend into two pieces. There's another strategy. Let's start with something with a similar problem to the one we had with the last one in that we can't take three fifths away from one fifth. We don't have enough fifths to subtract. So this time we're going to do something a little different. This time, we're going to decompose the original number into two and one fifth and one. So three, we broke three and one fifth, we broke it into two and one fifth. Now from the one, we're going to subtract three fifths. So this one we can think of as 5 fifths, and when we subtract 3 fifths, we have 2 fifths left. So showing that in an arrow diagram, we're starting with the 1, and we're subtracting 3 fifths, which is leaving us with 2 fifths. And then, since we've already subtracted what we need, all we have to do is add back in the part that's left, 
and we end up with 2 and 3 fifths. So again, we've decomposed to do the subtraction, but this time we've decomposed the mixed number into a number that we can subtract. So we have the 1, we've rewritten it at 5 fifths, we've subtracted 3 fifths, and we have 2 fifths. That's the result of the subtraction. And then we add back in the part that's left, and we end up with 2 and 3 fifths. <clears throat> Let's try some problems in our problem set. One says to subtract and then model either using a number line or the arrow way. So let's show the first one with a number line. We need to divide the whole number into fourths. So let's start with three and three fourths. And we're going to subtract one to end up at three and two fourths. So this would be three and two fourths or three and one half. Okay, you pause the video and try B. Okay, for B, let's show the arrow way. So we're going to start with four and seven tenths and we're going to subtract three tenths and three tenths, seven tenths minus three tenths is four tenths. So we'd have four and four tenths, which we could simplify to four and two fifths. If you did this with the number line instead of the arrow way, that's fine too, as long as you got the correct answer. Try C. Okay, for C, we have a couple of options. Since we can't subtract two thirds from one third, we can either decompose the mixed number or decompose the fractional part. For this one, let's decompose the fractional part into one third and one third. Because if I have one third, I can subtract one third. Let's record that in the arrow diagram. If I subtract one third, I'll be left with five. And then five take away one third. Would leave me with four and two thirds. So my answer would be four and two thirds. You could also show this with a number line. Okay, try D. So for D, this time let's decompose the mixed number into eight and three-fifths and one. And then we're going to rewrite one as five-fifths and subtract four-fifths, leaving us with one-fifth. And then we're going to add the one-fifth to the eight and three-fifths that's left, and we would get eight and four-fifths. In an arrow model, we would we started it with our with one, which was written as five fifths. We subtracted four fifths, leaving us with one fifth, and then we added what was left. Which added to the one fifth was eight and four fifths. And again, you could have showed that with a number line instead of the arrow way. For number two, it specifically tells us it's time to decompose the fraction and then model it. So in A, we've decomposed four-fifths into three-fifths and one-fifth. So we'd start with five and three-fifths. And then we're going to subtract the three-fifths, leaving us with five. And then we're going to subtract the one-fifth, which leaves us with four and four-fifths. Try B.
Okay, again, we're going to decompose the fractional part into one fourth so that we can subtract one fourth from one fourth. So let's do this one on a number line. change this one to a three and a four. And we're starting with four and one fourth. And we're going to subtract one fourth, which is going to take us to four. And then we're going to subtract one fourth again which will take us to 3 and 3 fourths. Try C. So we're decomposing the fractional part into 1 third and 1 third and 5 and 1 third minus one-third equals five, and five minus one-third would be four and two-thirds. Show it with a number line. starting with 5 and 1 third and we're subtracting 1 third to get to 5 and then we're subtracting 1 third again and we're ending up with 4 and 2 thirds and try D so we're going to decompose this fraction into 3 eighths and 2 eighths so that we can do 2 and 3 eighths minus 3 eighths gives us 2. And 2 minus 2 eighths would give us 1 and 6 eighths. And let's show this with an arrow way this time. We started with 2 and 3 eighths, then we subtracted. 3 eighths, which gives us 2. And then we're subtracting 2 eighths, which gives us 1 and 6 eighths. For 3, it tells us to decompose the fractions, to decompose the total to subtract the fractions. So this time, we're decomposing the mixed number that we start with. So we're going to decompose 3 and 1 eighth into 8 and 1 eighth and 1. 1 can be rewritten as 8 eighths. Then we're going to subtract the 3 eighths, leaving us 5 eighths. So we've done the subtraction part. Then we're going to go back and add in what's left. So we would end up with 2 and 6 eighths or two and three fourths. You try B. Okay, for B, again, we're going to show the mixed number is four and an eighth and one. If you need to write one is eight eighths, go ahead and do that. If you know in your head that one is also equal to eight eighths, then you can see if we subtract 7 eighths, we'd end up with 1 eighth. And 1 eighth plus 4 and 1 eighth would be 4 and 2 eighths, or simplified 4 and 1 fourth. Try C. Okay, we decompose again. We think of 1 as 5 fifths, so 1 minus 4 fifths would be 1 fifth. 
plus 4 and 3 fifths would be 4 and 4 fifths. <coughs> Try D. Decomposing again into 4 and 4 sixths and 1 minus 5 sixths would be 1 6 plus 4 and 4 6 equals 4 and 5 6. Try E. Decomposing here, we have 5 and 4 twelfths and 1. 1 minus 7 twelfths would be 5 twelfths. 5 twelfths plus 4 twelfths would be 9 twelfths. And the whole number is 5, so it would be 5 and 9 twelfths, which would simplify to 5 and 3 fourths. Try F. Again, decomposing to 8 and 1 eighth and 1. 1 minus 5 eighths would be 3 eighths. 3 eighths plus 8 and 1 eighth would be 8 and 4 eighths or eight and a half. Try G. This would decompose into six and one sixth and one. One minus five sixths would be one sixth. So six and one sixth plus one sixth would be six and two sixths or six and one third. Try H. Again, decomposing 7 and 3 tenths and 1. 1 minus 4 tenths would be 6 tenths. 3 tenths plus 6 tenths would be 9 tenths. And the whole number, 7, would be 7 and 9 tenths. Try I. Decomposing 11 and 3 fifths and 1. 1 minus 4 fifths would be 1 fifth. 1 fifth plus 3 fifths is 4 fifths. And the whole number 11. And try J. That would be 10 and 2 sixths and 1. Minus 5 sixths equals 1 sixth. So we would have 10 plus the fractional parts, 3 6, which would be equal to 10 and 1 half. And that's the end of lesson 32.